These things are only like $17 on Amazon. But they're really easy to program. All right, so right now it's off. You basically can go through this um, setup and just program it. So 24 hours, probably do 12 hours, because that's what I'm used to. it like this until the next thing until the time 635 once you got the six you gotta press ok alright so the time is now set let's make one of the next thing Start time. That's just asking you what time do you want your sprinkler to turn on. I like doing these in the, at night when I'm sleeping. So I think my other one is set for like four. Another one's five. So I'll either do three or six. Maybe I'll do it at three in the morning. So 3 a.m. So that's when it's going to start. And then the next thing's going to ask you, well, how long do you want it to go for? I can tell it however long I want. So I can do it for 10 minutes. So right now it's on hours. I don't want it to go for hours. Minutes, I'll probably do 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, how often? So you can do it once a day. You can do it every 12 hours. You can do it less than that. I'll probably just do it once a day. So once a day, it'll fire on at the start time that I programmed it for. And then you just turn it on, and it'll just now automatically, next time it's 3 a.m., it'll fire on for however long I told it to go. 20 minutes. Just make sure you leave it to on. And if you ever don't want it to go, you can either press the delay button and tell it how long you want it to not water for, or you can just turn it off. So if you rotate it to off, it just won't do anything until you turn it back on. So like for example, when it gets to winter time, I'll probably just take all this stuff off and put it in the house just so it doesn't get weather damaged. But if you wanted to, and you didn't get deep frost, that would might cause damage to the parts of these. So I've, I've had people that like complain about how these things leak and I have this feeling that it's probably because they leave things these things out during the winter and then the water expands inside of these things and busts them up and then breaks them and then they leak the next the next spring when they actually fire them up again. So I would recommend not having water be in these things when they're exposed to cold temperatures or better yet, just don't leave them outside during the winter. But anyway, that's how you make these little uh, timers work if you didn't know how to do that. And I hope if you already know how to do that, you didn't you know just watch this for nothing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, and I'll have links to this stuff. Like I said, this one's only $16 right now. It's on sale. Um, if you have any questions, just leave comments down. And if needed, I'll make another video about it or I'll just answer your question. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully I'm not just repeating myself and just boring the heck out of everyone. If I am, just double speed through this.